couple of interesting but annoying things about outlet malls and how they are able to make such deep discounts possible. My intention is not to ruin outlet mall shopping for you but just to let you know the facts and um, make you an informed shopper. So more than 90% of the merchandise that you find at outlet stores are made exclusively for the outlet stores. They are not items that are sent down from the retail store because they were damaged or um, last season. The FTC actually wrote a piece on how to shop wisely at outlet malls um, which I will link along with this video on my blog. Here at Market Street to do, do some investigative journalism. Okay, so it's not only stores and uh, specific brands that have their own outlet malls, but also uh, department stores like Nordstrom, uh, Neiman Marcus, they all have their bargain stores as well. I'm sure many of you have seen it in outlet malls. Uh, Very recently, executives from Off Fifth told their investors that only 10% of their stock is actually inventory from Saks. 25% uh, is private label goods and the rest are all merchandise made exclusively for the outlet. And you'll see that these items have MSRP written on the label. So MSRP which stands for Manufacturer's Suggested Retail Price is just a valued at price. That doesn't mean that the item is actually selling at the retail store at that price. It's kind of like a brand creating its own knockoffs using inexpensive material but that doesn't mean it's a cheap product it's just that the material or the production um, the finishing is just a little inferior in quality compared to the retail store item so in case of outlets or bargain store shopping uh, damaged products is good news because that means it's probably overstocked. It has come from the original store. From this Rebecca McGough bag, which is definitely a non-outlet piece. Uh, there's some obvious signs of damage. I don't know if you can see it. And from what I know, they come with an authenticity label. Ah, there you go. Look at the difference between these two bags. Damaged, original, no label inside, very obvious differences between the two. Check the price of items in stores like Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus. Get a feel of the leather itself so that if you find a similar item at the outlet store, uh, you can compare and immediately identify um, outlet versus non-outlet. Kate Spade does not have a shiny finish like this. This is almost like a pleather finish. This is definitely an outlet Kate Spade. Okay, I spoke to a consultant over here at Nordstrom and um, he didn't want to speak on camera but I'm going to quickly summarize the things that um, he told me. Try being as informed as you can about a specific brand's collections. Something from a year ago will definitely be cheaper right now. If you are getting a very low price on a latest item that is fresh off the runway, you automatically know that it's an outlet item. If you come across a design in an outlet store which you have not seen in an editorial or online then you immediately know that it's an outlet item overstock from the retail store or um, damaged goods or last season items could end up in the clearance aisle so it, a good rule of thumb is to shop from the clearance aisle one thing that I didn't try that might help if if you have not had time to um, look up the brand or if it's a last minute purchase then you could try a google image search i hope you are able to find that five to ten percent of clearance items that way you don't just get a good price but you also get a good quality product